And as Evan reported, the FBI progressing in its investigation, but won't reveal any new details beyond these new search warrants. So we bring in former Special Agent Stuart Kaplan. Uh, Stuart, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. How does the investigation change now that these search warrants have been issued? Well, the issuance of a search warrant shows that the FBI has developed what they believe is credible evidence to the point where there is probable cause to believe where or what they are going to search has evidence to prove that this individual or this group of individuals may be responsible for these attacks on these particular substation. It's very probative, it's very important, and it may likely end up with an apprehension. So Stuart, you're a former FBI special agent. Uh, we have these exclusive, uh, this federal memo news nations obtained showing this suspected white supremacist shared a file containing what's believed to show every power substation in America, every single one of them. How concerned are you that the information is not only out there, but it's being spread in these types of forums? Well, I think I'm more concerned. Look, there are a lot of memos that are out on the web. Um, look, you could probably find a memo uh, that, uh, you know, tends to show all of the police departments in across the United States and every municipality. In this particular situation, you know, substations are open to the public. And when I say open to the public, they're not considered covert facilities. We drive by them each and every day. We generally know where they're located. Uh, sometimes uh, a utility company actually has their offices adjacent to the substations. I'm more concerned about that the substations, given the historical nature of how long they have been in existence, they, they generally would fall into the category of a soft target. Their infrastructure has not been brought up to the 21st century. They need to be hardened. That is, a perimeter needs to be established where just a chain link fence is not going to be enough to protect that infrastructure. We need to get more ballistic panels, uh, something to prevent someone from hopping over the wall or even discharging a weapon into a substation. That's where my concern is. I think it really comes down to dollars. Uh, I think the utility companies are more concerned or less concerned, I should say, with respect to the security and maybe more concerned about safety. Yeah, you know, and Stuart, you mentioned, you know, those chain link fences just just won't cut it. Fi last question for you. What is the biggest lesson, do you think, to take away from the situation? Obviously, knowing that we still have much more to learn. Well, when you look at substations, the number one threat to substations, ironically, is weather. Number two is cyber attacks and personal attacks. I think it's a sobering reminder that we are living in a world where infrastructures such as our substations really can wreak havoc. Look at the disruption that this can cause. I think we need to take a step back. I think the utility companies need to step up. They need to start making the appropriate investment in security because ultimately we all become victims of these type of sabotages, these type of attacks. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.